I can't believe I'm crying. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So someone forgot to record their intro, so we're doing a little voiceover with some music to set the tone for this new Fenty skin tint. Not a foundation, it says it's a skin tint. But if you look at my skin right now, we can see the coverage, the finish is absolutely beautiful. So I won't keep you guys waiting. If you wanna see how I got this look, you know you gotta stay tuned and keep on watching. But before we get into the video, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. Let's go ahead and get into the video. You guys don't mind the echo but today I wanted to film in my bathroom because I wanted to do this video in natural light I've never done a natural light video and this bathroom window is huge and it's just this is the best option so please excuse the echo if you hear it I wanted to give you guys something a little different so today we are reviewing the Fenty Beauty eavesdrop blurring skin tint I got mine in the shade 20 now for reference my fancy foundation is right here this is the pro filter soft matte i am in the shade 420 and i did swatch it on my chest so let me just sit up so i can show you guys but this is what 420 looks like on me i know it's a little dark don't come for me we do this all the time I just went with this shade because I swatched 19 and it was a little too light and a little too olive-y if that makes sense. Like it almost looked not gray but kind of. It just didn't complement my skin tone and 21 would have been too dark. Based on how the Sephora website says and probably Fenty website too um, says to match yourself with me being in 420 of the Pro Filter it says my eavesdrop shade is 20. We are going to stick with that. This is a skin tint. So it says it's a lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage skin tint that leaves the skin looking blurred and smoothed in flexible shades for all. Coverage is light, finish is natural, formulation is a liquid. It comes in 25 shades and it retails for $29.50. So, I mean, I don't know how y'all feel about that price. I'm kind of like... Mm, I guess it's not bad. You do get 1.08 fluid ounces, so it's a tiny, tiny bit more than what you get in a normal foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. It's different. Don't mind it at all. So we're going to shake this, and then I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to get ready on camera, but I'm not going to do a tutorial. It's going to be super quick, because like I said, this is my everyday makeup. And I'm going to use the stuff I have on my vanity. And I'll show you all a picture. This is what's in my bathroom. We're not going to talk about it. There's more stuff in the bathroom drawer. But this is the stuff that I reach for when I have to hurry up and get ready for work. Or just want to throw something on real quick. And I'm not sitting down filming. Now I do know that the website and Fenty showed applying this with fingers. I don't do that. Never have. Not going to start. Plus I just did my nails white for the first time. So no. We are not messing that up. So I am gonna use a brush. So I'm just gonna put, I should've, mm. okay. We'll just do this, 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 and then a tiny bit up here. So we'll start with that. And I'm gonna leave that swatch on my chest because I do want you guys to see as the day goes on how these both dry down but so far you can see this is pretty good coverage I don't look we have different definitions of light because to me light coverage I don't think it's going to cover anything especially with how bad my hyperpigmentation is but she covered So right off the bat, as you guys can see, I do have a little bit of a glow, which I like. 
the coverage is a lot better than what I thought it was going to be for them to say this is a skin tint or a light coverage, medium coverage, whatever. Like this is definitely, I would say a good medium. I mean, I don't think I put a lot and I'm going to put a little more just to kind of try to build it up. I like this. I'm surprised. I am very pleasantly surprised. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I mean, I don't even think I put a lot right here to try to cover this up. My little burn scar, but I mean, y'all know what my face looks like. This is definitely, I'm sorry, I can't get over it. This is good coverage. So let's add a little bit more to my problem areas. Right here on these cheeks, years of acne. And let's see if it's buildable. Definitely buildable. It's still not like full coverage, but yeah. Let's see if that burn scar goes away. You see? Y'all, this, I didn't want to be all like, oh my God, this is going to be so good. Jump on everybody's bandwagon, but yeah, Fancy, you did it again. So that is what we have there. So this is our starting point. I'm going to speed through the rest of my makeup, but... I'm just gonna do my quick little everyday beat and then I'll come back, do two check-ins and then give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the day.
right guys so this is it for the final look did a little close-up slow-mo for you guys i am so impressed with how this turned out y'all saw my little mishap with the mascara i love this mascara this is the Too faced damn girl mascara but this big brush gets me in trouble every single time but yeah normal everyday makeup i don't do lashes we already know my struggle with that so i just put on the mascara that gives me the most volume and length and i go about my business so this is our starting point it is currently 1008 and i'll go ahead and spray my face because i do do that when i am doing like a quick face but i still want it to last so i'm gonna use my urban decay all nighter just pat that in with my sponge but this looks absolutely beautiful i think the shade is good let me back up and show y'all my chest so you can see i don't think i'm <laughs> i don't think i'm tripping so this is what it looks like compared to my fenty 420 this is shade 20 which it says this should be a match so i think it looks good and I didn't use a lot of concealer in the Fenty concealer. I'm in shade 350. I wish this was a little more neutral on me, but it works. This is the final look. We are going to do wear tests, like I said. So starting point about 10 o'clock and I will check in with you guys after lunch and then check in again tonight. But I'm excited so far. This looks amazing. All right, guys, check in number one. It is currently 239. I was gonna wait a little later to do this, but I wanted to make sure I could do it in natural light and I don't want it to get too dark or too cloudy and you guys can't see. So this is where we are right now with the foundation. I feel like I look a little more glowier, like I don't get oily anymore, but I cooked earlier. I've been packing, so I broke a little, little tiny sweat. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I think it's gorgeous. Like, I'm still, I'm still shocked. So I do notice that it says it's supposed to be transfer resistant. I don't, I think it said that. Am I making that up? <laughs> Y'all let me know. I'll look for it. But I mean, I do feel like there's a little bit of transfer and being the queen picker that I am, I've noticed my nails are white, so I can see when the foundation gets on my nails. I'll be up for a while, so we'll get a good, hell, we might get 12 hours out of this. I don't know, but yeah, I'm also checking, y'all know me and my foundation, so I'm gonna back up so y'all can see this. So right now, I have, this is still my Fenty on my chest, but this, is the Kat Von D True Portrait in the shade Tan 70. I swatched it on my hand. I thought it was too red. And then I put it on my chest and I let it dry down. And unless I'm tripping, I mean, it might be a smidge too dark. This, I feel like it matches. So I don't know. That's where we are. Fenty is killing it. Blur, 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 blur. I'll check in with you guys later. All right, guys, I am back from my final check-in. It is currently 9.02. I have been editing, so if my eyes look a little red or crazy, that is why I've been staring at the computer for a couple hours now. But this is where we are. End of the day, I have not touched up at all. Do you hear me? Fenty. Okay. First of all, skin tint wear. This is a foundation. This is a foundation. Beautiful, blurs like it says. I, this is the first time, I think, in a very long time, I've worn a foundation where I feel like, I'm not gonna say I'm oily, but I feel like, I don't know, like my oils are coming through, but I'm not oily. I've noticed throughout the day that I have a little bit more of a sheen and I'm just like, okay, you're not sucking the life out of my face, but it's not separating. Color looks good. Y'all know I gotta check that. But yeah, I absolutely love this and I started not to pick it up. So glad I did. And when Fenty has its friends and family 30% off, I'm probably gonna get another one. I wanna try their skincare too, because I heard good stuff about the moisturizer. 
But that is it for this video, guys. Comment below and tell me what you think. Did you pick this up already? What do you think about how my face looks? And like I said earlier, I was sweating a little bit. I've been moving around all day. I packed up all of my makeup. I almost started crying. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna miss this room. This is my first beauty room and ugh, I know the next one is gonna be great. It's just being in this room and having my stuff and having access to it is what got me to start this channel. So it's kind of bittersweet. I can't believe I'm crying. It's kind of bittersweet, but the next one is going to be better. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be beautiful. And that is it. Fenty, hold on. Hold on, Fenty. <laughs> We're done, guys. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. Oh, my God. You are such a cornball. Foundation is amazing. If you're thinking about picking it up, go pick it up. And I'm glad they're letting people try stuff out a little more now. So if you're not sure about your shade... I think the way they have it set up with the shade finder is a good indicator of what your shade should be. So go pick this up. It is a banger. Absolutely love it. Two thumbs up. I will be keeping it and wearing it regularly. Thank you guys for sticking with me till the end of the video. Again, if you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. And I will try not to be too emotional <laughs> moving forward, but... I'm real guys and I love sharing stuff with you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.